back, Cylinder Bros, or welcome if you're new. Um, over here, we got a BMW M235i. Uh, it's one of our friends. He just got it a few months ago, and he's done a couple of things. He got a tune for it, and um, he got a charge pipe, but he hasn't installed that yet. And we decided for his birthday, uh, his birthday was a couple days ago, we decided to get him some mods. All right, so we got him these um, mirror covers, side mirror covers. Uh, they're kind of like the M style covers, like it has a little hump here. We got him these, and then we got him a uh, gloss black grill, complete gloss black, black grill. So it'll replace the chrome on the outside, and it's an M style. So it has these double, uh, what is it called? I don't know. Wrong so that. The okay. spacing on this is <laughs> a bit different than sense. than on the um, stock stock uh, M235i. So this is like an M type grill. So let's take a little walk around the car just to show you how it is. So it's this nice blue color. What's it called, Slaw? Estoral? Estoral blue, yeah. It's called yes. Estoral blue, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You can see the grill right here. It's chrome on the outside, so we want to get rid of that. And these are single uh, slats, I guess you'd call them. Prongs. Prongs, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and uh, the new grill has two. Uh, it's like, double prongs. It's, it's grouped up, I guess. Let's show them the. Let's show them these mirrors. All right. So why the hell would you put silver mirrors on a blue car? So as you can tell, <laughs> I don't know who did this. Is does this come stock? It says it comes stock. It's stock. Oh, yeah, that's gosh. stock. Okay. So apparently, I didn't know this, but um, this car comes with a silver mirror cover stock, even though the color of the car is something else. So we decided to get uh, black mirror covers because we. Why, why do we get black? We decided to get black side mirror covers. Um, we think it would look nice and we think we would it would go well with the other black accents that this car has going on. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the installation. First, we're gonna be starting with the grill and then we're gonna move on to the side mirrors. All right, so uh, we first started by taking this weather stripping out. All you have to do is pull it out. Uh, we accidentally took this off and well, we took this off and then we thought of filming, so that's why this is off already. But this is right here. This goes right here. And all you have to do is pull it. There's no other like additional tools required. You just pull it out. Just be careful with it, don't rip it. But other than that, it's not too hard to take out. So we're following this, um, how to remove this grill and install a new one. Uh, a little like instructional video by, how do you, how do you say this, Kai's? Keys Motors Motorsports. Keys Motorsports. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll put a link up. Yeah, I'll put a link down in the description, and there should be a card on this side. Um, but if I forget that, the link will definitely be in the description below. So after taking the weather stripping out, the second thing we need to do is take these um, screws out right here that are on the bumper. This will loosen up the bumper, so it's going to be more. It's going to be easier to take this grill out. This grill is attached by some clips, plastic clips, so you just kind of pop it out. In order to do that, we first need to loosen up the bumper, so let's get these screws out. So now that the screws are out, we need to pull the bumper uh, from the... When you pull the bumper away from the vehicle, so these clips are come like pop out of where they are right now, and that'll loosen up the bumper completely, so then you could reach in and loosen up the clips that are holding the actual grill in, in place. So let's do that right now. So this is how you pull it and yeah, it wasn't that hard. This is my first time doing it. Uh, we haven't done it before. So yeah, it was pretty easy to do. No big deal. But I feel like this next part is gonna be a bit harder. All right, so we got um, one of the grill pieces off. Yeah, it was kind of hard to take off. In the video, I think they, you, you can they, used a, they used a 335, not a 235. And one thing we noticed was that the 235 grill does not come out far. Like, look, you can see how far it comes out. There's no way, I mean, there is a way because we did it, but um, it's really hard to stick your hand all the way to the bottom to unclip the bottom of the grill. And then the side ones were also hard to get to because there's weather stripping, but uh, you just got to search for it. And we did it, so I'm sure you can do it too. Yeah, like the only advice I have is like keep trying. If <laughs> yeah, and don't be don't be afraid to pull. Like it felt a little uncomfortable pulling as much as we did, but the bumper's still fine. Nothing broke. Um, that's BMW engineering for you. So. so yeah, we're gonna be taking the next 
uh, grill off and then we're, we'll install the new one. All right, so we got one of the grill pieces on. Now we're gonna pop the other one on. So these tabs go into the holes that are right here and once you hear a click, then that means it's pretty se it's secured in place. So there's gonna be three up top, which I can't really get right now, but you can see the ones on the side. And then there's two on the bottom as well. After you think all of these tabs are in um, in their place, make sure you pull the grill a little bit so you can 100% be sure that it's in. Because this one uh, seemed like it was in, but it was in, in completely. You just pop it in, make sure, um, pull on to make sure all the clips are in, and you're good to go. Let's move on to the side mirror caps. So before we move on, don't forget to put this weather stripping back. All right, so moving on to the mirror caps. Um, if you don't care about the mirror cap, then you can just pull it right off uh, using pry tools. But if you wanna be able to reuse this mirror cap or resell it for whatever reason, you can, you ha you're gonna have to take the mirror out. And before you get to doing that, make sure you have the motor pointed all the way up using your mirror controls. And then you're just gonna take one of these. So you're gonna wanna hold the mirror with one hand, and then with the other hand, you're gonna slide in your pry tool and just gently pull it out. You can see the mirror coming out, that's fine. Just keep pulling gently, and you'll hear it, you'll hear your mirror snap out. And you'll hear it, you'll hear your mirror snap out. Okay. It's, I think it's pretty fresh out. It is. It is. Just like that. Just just take, like it, it doesn't that. always take two people, but uh, you can never be too safe. Yeah, just be and if you end up breaking it, you can always blame the other person. Be careful, <laughs> be careful with the mirror because it can break when you're trying uh, trying to force it out. Like That's that. a $400 mistake. Yeah, I was looking at some Amazon reviews and someone said it took 400 bucks to get an OEM BMW mirror, which is a little, pretty pretty pricey. So basically what you want to do now is as someone is grabbing a hold of the cover and pulling it, you need to squeeze these pins in. So I'm going to squeeze this as he is pulling this cover off. And you don't want to take this pry tool out, otherwise the clip's going to slide back in. This middle one's out too. Okay. So there's gonna be three of these uh, clips holding it. There's gonna be one on the right, one in the middle top area, and then one on the left side. What you wanna do is you wanna go one by one with this. All right, so when we did the other side, we had some alignment issues, but um, you, if you just finesse it in, it'll work. The nagel. Aligned pretty well, you just, just give it a tug, make sure it's actually on, and that's, all you gotta do. And then you gotta, you gotta put the mirror back, but that's pretty easy. You just align it and push it in. Yeah. So make sure you put even pressure on all sides. You might need two people for this. But basically, yeah, there, I think it's in. Yep. That's, that's all you need to do. You press it in until it clicks and you're good to go. <laughs> all right, so we have them installed. Um, I think they look pretty good. We all think they look pretty good. Uh, we really like this little section that comes up because it looks like an M car. Yeah. What is an M? You want to add a little? It's it's a fake M. M. We're, trying it's, it's a, a, we're trying to make it it's a little a, it's bit more. It's an more. M performance. M performance. Yeah. yeah. So I like how this gloss black complements the little sail panel right here. I don't know why they decided to put this <laughs> on there. Like this just looks so much better. So this grill has the same pattern as an M2, but because we're not trying to make this car something, it's not, it doesn't say M2 on the actual grill like a real M2 would, but it still adds a little something. And this gloss black, again, matches with the mirrors. Um, but yeah, I think the owner of the car is satisfied and I, I think it turned out well. Winston likes it. So this is a successful <laughs> little mod day. We didn't do anything too crazy, but uh, yeah, it still, it still makes a huge difference. You guys can see in the before and after pictures. If you found this video helpful, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. 
If you didn't find it helpful, don't hit the dislike. Just let us know down in the comments below uh, how we can make our videos better. Yeah, so let us know if you have, if you have any ideas for future videos uh, down in the comments below as well. So if you want to see the exhaust come off of this car, just uh, hit that like button. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.